Hi everyone, this is Lacey from Hermit Crab Owners, and I'm doing a series of videos on how to move with your crabs. This is Kaden. Hi. She is mixing the new sub. You still want to do a 5-1-1 ratio, which means five parts sand to one part eco earth to one part amendments. You want to first mix everything in really well. You're going to want to get a tote. Depending on how many crabs you have, you want to do about five gallons of crab for your move. As soon as you find out you are moving, you want to start putting um, totes together for them. This is where under the tank heaters are very handy as a heat lamp would melt the t plastic tote. Okay, so this is part two of our series and moving. You want to set up the tote just like you would a regular tank. As you can see, we have some hay, we have a um, ornament, we have the gauge, even though it's not at temperature yet or at humidity. Have some driftwood. You want to set up a basically a small tank for them. You still need the fresh and the salt water. You want to keep this their temporary home for the next month or so until the moving day. You still see we have a good amount of sub in here. That way if a crab does go down and has to molt, they still have the room. Remember you want to keep it about five gallons per crab. Most totes are in quarts or liters, so make sure to have your cell phone on you to do conversions on how many gallons. It okay, is. this is part three of our moving series. Say it's the night before moving, and it's time to get the crabs ready to go. What you'll need is an empty tote like this one without the sub. You're going to want an even smaller tote than this one because you're, you're going to want to stack Tupperware. You can use any Tupperware. I find it easiest to get the ones that are stackable. You're going to want to fill each Tupperware of moss and dampen it with make sure there it has prime you're gonna want to take the crab and just place them into the dish make sure he's all safe and secure secure the lid and then you're gonna want to put the crab into the tote keep the tote warm with hand warmers that you'll find at any hardware store convenience store they're the type that you break and you use for your gloves. Um, you want to keep the gauge on top of the Tupperware to make sure it doesn't get too hot, too cold. If you're moving a long distance, I would say longer than three hours. Um, you're going to want to buy on Amazon. There is a plug converter for your truck. It goes in, it'll go into a cigarette outlet or a, um, any type of port. They have several of them. They're about 20 bucks on Amazon. If you Say if you have a molter, you're going to want to very, very carefully dig that molter up and place them with their XO into the Tupperware. You want to you take special care of them. Make sure they're not bouncing around too much during the move. Bubble wrap it if you have to. And basically, this is all you need to move. This is Lacey again. This is part four. What to do with your tank. What you're going to want to do with your sub in your tank after everybody is safely in the tote and you're ready to move is you're going to want to start picking up the sub and removing it from your tank. What I did was um, I did 50 pound bags into trash bags of um, the sub in the tank. You're going to want to be careful just in case you, say, rescued a few crabs and you're not sure if anyone made it or not. You're going to want to go carefully as there's also shells and God knows what else the crabs drag down. You just really want to take apart your tank, put the lid back on it, and make sure you have um, strong people to move it if you have a huge tank. And then when you get to your new place, 
carefully put the sub back into the tank. Set up your tank, false bottom, whatever you have. And then you're going to want to start to put the crabs in who um, haven't molted. If you had a molter down, you're going to want to prepare an ISO tank for that crab. You can use the totes that you already had ready to go for the ISO tank. You want to set up an ISO tank just like a normal tank, but easier access to everything as the crab is um, very weak from being so dug up. So this one mid is going to be entitled Case of Emergency or a Quick Move. You're going to want to do the last part of my four part, uh, part four video with the Tupperware Moss your spray bottle treated with prime and your lid. If it's just a quick move, you want to start um, taking the sub slowly out of your tank. Um, have tiny totes for isolation tanks for molters. And you're going to just want to start catching them and put them in this for a quick move. In case of an emergency, you're going to want to discard all your sub moss, just everything that's porous, um, like driftwood, even the canvas, anything plastic in your tank. You want to get rid of just in case. Um, smoke can cling to it. If it's a natural gas leak, you want to toss that out as well. Um, you want to put them in here. And just move them quickly. You're going to want to wipe down your tank also um, with a diluted vinegar mix with water. And then you're going to want to rinse again with water just to make sure all the vinegar is out. And then you're going to do redo your sub um, to the 5-1-1 ratio. Five parts sand, one part eco-earth, one part sub amendments. All right. See ya.